I actually I have a lot of LeBron questions, and I'm sure Tommy does. I, I want to ask about one other teammate because yeah. we were talking earlier in your career. Um, you played with uh, Chris Paul his rookie year. Was he as fucking annoying back then as he is now? Did he did he yeah. just consistent annoyance? Yeah, nah, and <laughs> even make, as a rookie, it make it so it make it so bad. I had Chris. I I thought I was a vet by my, my second year. <laughs> Chris, so we have we, New Orleans. We, he gets drafted by New Orleans. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, I'm at the draft party, going crazy in the, in the, in, the, in the, um, whatever the arena was called. It. And sure enough, like a week or two later, Hurricane Katrina happens. So we go to Oklahoma City. So I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, he hits me up like, yo, man. I mean, my family's going on this cruise. You want to come? I'm like, yeah. Why not? I'm 19. He's 19, 20. So I'm like, yeah. I go on this family cruise, and the whole time he won't stop talking. He won't stop talking about, <laughs> about everything. You know? I'm like, oh my god! I hope he's not really like this. I get a, just so happened. Of course, we live across the street from each other in Oklahoma City, so he's driving me to practice every day because I'm like the quote unquote honorary vet that I name myself. So he's driving us to practice every day. And short enough, talking, talking, talking. Sit next to him on a plane, talking, talking, talking on the bus. So I'm like, bro, at what point? At what point do you just chill out? Do you relax? <laughs> He's so turned up. But I love CP, man. He's a great dude. Man. Oh man. Did you did you have any stories? We've talked we've talked about this with him when he's come on and with some other guys about him in general. On the court, he's manipulating the game all the time. Yeah. Did you did you see him do anything on the court where you were just like, this dude is just built different? We played Denver in a training camp in Denver. And Andre Miller was guarding him. And I like People don't give Andre Miller enough credit for how good he actually is. And offensively and defensively. And just smart knowing the game. I don't, and I found this out after, like, you know, playing with Dre. But the things he was, like, able to the, the maneuver and see as a rookie, like telling coaches coming off the pick and roll, no, nah, he's going to do this, coach, and I'm going to get it. And, like, and I'm sitting here listening to him, like, yeah, okay. He thinks he knows everything. That's CP, yeah, okay. And then sure enough, Dude jumps the pick. He splits the double team. Does his little sham guard routine floater. I'm like, damn. Oh, he's he's all right. Sure enough, two games later, he's like, he's averaging like 20, 25 in, in in training camp. I'm like, as a rookie? Oh no, he's he's serious. He's serious. But it, it's funny because we got into it one time, and I was I was starting, and we were like one of the quote unquote new duos of the league because we were so young, and uh, Byron Scott got mad at me for taking some, uh, some kind of shot or whatever, and I didn't get back on defense. So I was like, all right, cool. So, so timeout happens. CP's sitting in the first seat. I'm sitting in the second seat. And he's, like, digging in my ear, like, come on, bro, I need you, I need you, I need you. I'm sitting there like, man, I need you to pass me the fucking ball. <laughs> like, I, that's what I need, right? He looking at me like, he like we get into, we, like, low-key get into it. And it was, it, was one of the, it was one of the better moments because at that moment I knew, like, He's down to win, like more than anything. He's down to win, and I, I was like, okay, not like this is my dog. I can roll with him. I I love that story. I really do, <laughs> because I don't think I've had a teammate that I've cussed out more or that has cussed me out more <laughs> than Chris. But I always went back yeah. to, nah, he just wants to win. It's That's just it. it's just CP being CP. One hundred percent. And one thing I know about CP, he's like one of the most incredible, incredibly competitive people I've ever seen in my life. We went to uh, like this roller coaster spot in North Carolina, <laughs> and when I t for his his wedding, and I tell you, no lie, he would not leave this place. Now you know the like the little uh, games on the side, but they got that one, and you got to climb the ladder. Like it's, it's hooked to the bottom and it's hooked to the top, and you got to climb the ladder. He was sitting there for like an hour, literally. He would not move until he got it. I'm like, this dude is nuts. He's nuts. We hope you had fun with us today. We hope you laughed. We hope you had fun with us today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button.